Fox 56 News, the weather authority. Well, good evening and welcome back. Getting ready for that Labor Day weekend. Things are going to be nice for us here. The Labor Day weekend, a very busy start to September. It's the unofficial end to summer. UK football kicks off tomorrow. We also have some outdoor activities like archery deer season that opens. And today marks the first day of meteorological fall. September, October, November, how we keep track of the climate data as we go through the fall months. Now, temperatures currently not looking like fall at all. We've got 86 out there in Lexington. Richmond, Dan was at 84, Beattyville at 82. A nice toasty rebound after a couple of cooler days there through the middle of the week. Our humidity has come back as well. We're in the mid to upper 60s with our dew points, and you'll probably notice that if you spend some time outdoors. It's something we're going to see as we go through our weekend as well. Now, dipping down into the low 60s here for most of us, some of us getting hung up in the mid 60s for your overnight temps. But then we go into game day Saturday on a good note. Early in the day, tailgating starts. Bright and early, we're going to talk about being in the mid 70s by 8. That catwalk happens 945, 80, and then by game start right around the 82 degree mark, and we're only going to climb from there. As we get to halftime, 83, 84 by the end, likely reaching close to our high temperature in the upper 80s, possibly seeing some of us go to 90. Jumping ahead towards Labor Day, another toasty one coming your way. That Labor Day cookout forecast looks great. We're talking high temps in the 90s for your Labor Day itself as well. Hot and humid. East southeast winds coming at you 5 to 15 miles an hour. And that's what we're going to be seeing most of this weekend. Can't forget Sunday. It's in between the two days there, but still 90 and partly cloudy. You're going to feel that along with some humidity in the mid 60s. Stuffy, but not too terribly muggy for us. We shouldn't be seeing any in that oppressive category, but it's going to feel like summer across the board either way. And unfortunately, we get to stick around with that. Or fortunately, however you like to shake it out, high pressure is going to be the big reason that we have this huge ridge setting up. That's going to keep the heat across the area for the next week. We're talking highs in the 90s all next week long. Even Thursday, if we don't quite get there, maybe a storm chance, but still seeing a rebound even into next weekend where we could be talking 90s. Now, the rest of the forecast is very quiet. High pressure keeps us clear. Some clouds and rain off to the south that could push a little bit of the cloud cover in. Watch Futurecast take us into the next three or four days here with just some spotty clouds at times into your Saturday afternoon, but high pressure winds out, so we're going to see more sunshine than any anything else into Sunday and into your Labor Day as well. Pretty quiet forecast across the board. Still track it all with you as you go out to the game tomorrow. Fox 56 Weather Authority app has you covered as that heat builds in and that seven day forecast. It's going to be in there. We've got that seven days looking pretty summer like across the board. 90s almost every day a break. The next chance for storms Thursday. If you can call 87 to break. OK, but then we go back to Friday 90 and hot into next week.